Our sermon for tonight is based on Matthew 16, verses 21 to 23. Okay, that's around uh, three verses. And uh, this is the part wherein you have read that Jesus said to Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Imagine, Peter has just confessed that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Imagine that Christ has just told Peter that uh, no man has revealed to you this to you, but by the by, by the Father who is in heaven. The Father is the one who gave you that revelation. And then, uh, as we go about these verses, and we're going to read this text uh, from the title of the sermon, Ensuring Accurate Spirituality. Can you turn to the next slide? Okay, so let's all together read. From, from that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense to me, for thou separest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. May the Lord bless the reading and the exhortation of his word. All of us desires to be spiritually strong. And I, am I right? Amen. Okay, we want to be uh, uh, established in the faith. We want to become more prayerful. Uh, we, we desire to read uh, the Word of God more. Am I correct? Amen. We desire to be more holy in our, in our personal and spiritual lives. But then, this is what usually happen. Look at the next slide. Other people's spiritual journey seems to be uh, like it's so easy. But then, in reality, this is the condition of our spiritual journey. So how can we ensure accurate spirituality? Okay. We want to be accurate. We have to be precise with our spirituality so that God may be pleased. So there, mu there must be ways as to how this can be attained. Okay, so I, I have four points only. And so I'll be giving to you uh, each of them one by one. And these are the answers to the question, how can we ensure accurate spirituality? The first thing is, let us reveal the words of Christ. From this text that we have just read, we can readily see that Jesus told his disciples what will happen to him in the uh, days or weeks to come. Okay? Not many days from the time that he uh, has just told his disciples about uh, going to Jerusalem, that he will suffer many things from the elders, from the chief priests, from the scribes, and then later on what will happen to him? He will be killed. He will die. And then on the third day, what will happen? He will be raised from the dead. Okay. And then Peter uh, took this as something strange. Instead of him uh, simply believing the words of Christ, uh, he said another thing. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, what did Peter said? Be it far from thee, Lord, that this shall not be unto thee. Sabi niya, hindi na wang mangyari yung mga bagay na ito. Uh, Peter wanted uh, Christ to be a political ruler and be able to rule Jerusalem but uh, uh, but Jesus had other things in mind iba yung nasa isip ni Pedro eh. uh, Peter was not actually revealing the words of Christ instead of taking Christ at his word he was thinking of something else you get the point brothers and sisters 
So we have to, you know, uh, be accurate in our understanding of the words of Christ and uh, every word of Christ must not mean something else. What he says is what he, he actually says. Okay? So revere the words of Christ. When you read the Bible, take every word as it is. You have to read the Bible not only every day, but with much comprehension, with much understanding, and with much concern about getting the plain facts or the real meaning of Scripture. We have to reveal the words of Christ. Look at the next slide. I know Christ. So the Scriptura, the Bible alone, what do you call this? And tell just clear. Is that an application or what? Absolutely. Is that a, it's an app. Okay? So it's an app. Uh, maybe you'll just have to click each each uh and tell us about item and icon. 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 Okay, and then you will know what's inside of those uh, points. So we we always have hold the scriptures in this church. That's why we believe in sola scriptura, which means what? Scripture alone. Scripture alone is our standard. I hope you have memorized all those all, all those things written at the back. Uh, here we stand. Solus Christus, sola scriptura, sola gratia, sola pide, soli deo gloria. Now, the emphasis of our sermon today is on sola scriptura. It always matters what the Bible is saying because we believe that the Bible is what? It is the Word of God. Amen. Amen. So, look at that picture. Uh, defending the Bible, sola scriptura debates, apostolic fathers in sola scriptura. What else can you read? Is thump, what that? Is thumper? What's the meaning of the word stumper? I don't know. And then, Stump. all creeds dangerous, traditions dangerous, church illuminated, 27 book or Bible canon, proof text, read Bible to understand, and Holy Spirit illumination. Now, what's written on the left side? Everybody? Ask a Bible question, get a Bible answer. Request free Bible study course by mail. Information about who we are, Assembly locations of Christians near you, telephone help, hotlines in your own hometown, and contact email serving partner nearest you. Okay. So, this kind of apps must be very helpful for Christians who are intent on using them. Okay. Uh, it's so good that nowadays <coughs> we have so many. Uh, applications that are available for everyone to use. If you're looking for a text or a verse, it's very easy to locate them. Uh, you can just type the word on Google and find it where is it written in the Bible. It's like a concordance also. So for uh, every uh, <coughs> uh, interpretation of any given text, Okay, uh, interpretations are also always available. And if you have some questions, where would we go? God questions. And then most of our, our, our questions are actually answered uh, conservatively in those uh, write-ups. I've just read that there are around 630,000 questions that were answered under God questions. You know, sabi, 630,000. And so, uh, because of the, the availability of these things, we are enabled to study the Word of God uh, even much deeper if you would like. And then, in doing so, you will be able to really revere the words of Christ. What's another word for revere? Reveal. Reveal. It means also to respect. Okay? To give full uh, importance. Uh, to make it as essential to your spiritual life. That's the meaning of the word to reveal. Okay? And that's also something to do with veneration. 
uh, also uh, it means that you have to accept Christ for what he says in his word and make it as your final authority as the basis of your faith and practice. Everybody say. Okay, the second point here is let us refuse the words of Satan. Okay, so let's read the verse. Be far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. So, upon Peter saying that he doesn't want these things that Jesus told about himself, what would happen? He was immediately rebuked by Christ because he said, Be far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. May this not happen. Because Peter uh, doesn't know anything about the actual plan of God with regards to the redemption of sinners. And Christ has to die on the cross. Amen? Amen. And it was uh, already uh, prophesied in the scriptures. And actually it is already ordained that Christ would die on the cross as a sinless man. Uh, uh, though sinless, but he will, uh, he will uh, take all the sins of the world. It will all be imputed upon him. For he is the one who is going to pay for the penalty of our sins. So, uh, Peter doesn't want that to happen to Christ. And then, Jesus turned and said unto Peter, in other translations, Jesus reproved Peter. In other translations, Jesus rebuked Peter. Because uh, Jesus knows that the works of Satan has to be refused. Now, look in here. Jesus said, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me. Imagine, listen carefully. Peter has just said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Remember? And then maybe after a few what? A few hours or maybe a few a few days after that, because you can read from the from verse 21, from that time forth began. From that time forth. The time being referred to there was the time when, when Jesus said that uh, upon this rock I will build my church. So because it was revealed unto Peter by the Father who is in heaven that he is indeed the Christ, the Son of the living God. And then after a few days perhaps, after receiving that revelation from the Father, Imagine the devil crept unaware to Peter when Jesus has just told the disciples that he would be killed and then Peter started to react violently and saying, although his intentions are good, he would like to, uh, to preserve, he would like to protect the Lord. But then Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. Imagine, Satan was right at the back of Peter. You see that? So, Christians must be careful enough to be mindful of their spirituality because the devil will always be working. Sometimes he, he is at your back and you have to denounce him. And what are you, so you supposed to do? You have to refuse the works of Satan in our lives. Amen. Amen. Now look at the next slide. And this is the uh, works, the works of the flesh. Actually, in Galatians chapter 5, uh, the listed works of the flesh are only 17. Well, 17 is a big number also, but this is more of a complete list based on the other texts from Galatians, Jeremiah, Hosea, Mark, Timothy, Peter, and Revelation. Okay, can we read all of that? Let's go. Adultery, fornication, filth, lust, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, disputes, jealousy, rage, arguments, dissension, heresy, envy, murder, getting drunk, 
Lord Jesus, great glory, robbery, second column, perjury, lies, bad thoughts, greed, evil, slander, pride, foolishness, scam, lustfulness, drunkenness, orgies, dissipation, cowardice, disbelief, abomination, selfishness, blasphemy, third column, Disobeying our parents, ingratitude, ungodliness, disaffection, implacability, calumny, intemperance, cruelty, detesting good, betrayal, impetuosity, vanity, loving, evil pleasures. You see all those lists? There are too many. What are the long lists? Seven. Ah, okay. So, forty nine lang yan. Nabulit eh. Okay. So I think this is almost a complete place, if, if not uh, actually complete. Maybe all of our sins are mentioned there. Amen. Amen. Except, of course, for Jesus. <laughs> okay? Uh, these are all the works of the flesh. These are also works of Satan that we have to refuse. We have to always watch our spirits. Let's guard our hearts that we may not commit any of these sins because this will ruin your spiritual life and, and by doing so, you will not be able to ensure accurate spirituality. So you see, brothers and sisters, we have to be very, very careful because the devil works in ways that we do not see. Just as uh, how we understood that God also works in ways that we, 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 we cannot see. Do you remember the song? He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. Okay. Well, God does, does those things, but Satan also works. But if you're not careful, then you might end up being victimized. So what are we going to do then? Refuse all these works of the flesh, and every work of Satan that we should be mindful enough be sober knowing that our enemy is prowling like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So let us be careful then. Tell the person beside you, be watchful brother and sister. Hey, watch, 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 watch. Refuse the works of Satan. Refuse. Okay. okay, now the third point the third point, reprove the ways of men. Okay, can we read the verse all together? Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be far from me, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou art an offense unto me. For thou sayest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Okay. So, uh, Peter did not refuse the words of Satan. And so Jesus reproved the ways of men. Why reprove the ways of men? Because Peter had in mind not the things of God, but the things of men. In the mind of many people during the time of Christ, they were expecting Christ to be a Messiah, but not the spiritual type but that of being a political ruler. One who would depose the Romans that were governing in their land. He thought that Jesus is going to liberate them from Roman rule. But that is not what uh, God has in mind. That is not what Christ has in mind to do. He is not a political messiah. At this time, he is a spiritual Messiah. But when he comes back, in his second coming, in his return, then and then only then will he become a political Messiah for all, for all the world. Now, and so Jesus reproved the ways of men. As those things were in the mind of Peter, he said, uh, get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me. Meaning to say, hey Peter, you are a hindrance to what uh, the Father has in mind. That is not my mission. I'm not here to establish uh, a rule 
for the uh, present government of this country. I am here so that people's lives may be saved, so that the souls of men may not perish, but if they would believe on me, then they would have eternal life. Because Peter, you are not savoring the things that be of God, but those that be of men. It means, uh, Peter, what you have in mind are not uh, the things of God. That is not what God has in mind. So I am now reproving uh, what you are thinking of. Your ways are not my ways. In the same way, God's ways is always higher than our ways. Amen? Uh, God has a better plan than, than we have for ourselves. Sometimes you don't un understand what's going on. Maybe you are now in a time of disappointment. Uh, you know, sometimes man's disappointments are God's appointment, appointments. Amen? Amen. Sometimes, uh, it, uh, and not only sometimes, usually it's, it's that way. So, look, look in the next slide and you will see. Sometimes I feel that I have the worst job in the world. Says what? Yeah, right. Says the toothbrush. And then the toilet paper said, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Did you get it? If you don't get it, I don't know why you, you don't get it. Uh, if the, the toothbrush thought that he has the worst job in the world by cleaning the teeth, but the, the toilet paper, you know where to use it, so it's a worse, it's a far uh, worse job than the job of the toothbrush. Now, don't accept every word people may say. Do not be persuaded to believe something wrong. Don't be persuaded to believe things that are wrong. Uh, sometimes if we are not mindful, we are being deceived. You don't even know that it's wrong. And so you accept uh, what people have to say. The ways of men are different from the ways of God. Uh, the world is teaching us uh, a different, uh, different, different values. The ways of the world are far different from the ways of God. If you know the scriptures, if you know the words of Christ, it will be good for you. The world will say, you rule. But then the word of God is saying, you be a servant of all. The world wants to be exalted, but Jesus wants us to be humble. The world wants you to, to have uh, much joy and laughter. But then the word of God is telling us that we should rather weep and mourn from our sins. So the values of the world is much different from the values of the word. Okay. So you have to reprove the ways of men and refuse the words of Satan. And in revealing the words of Christ, then... then uh, accurate spirituality can be ensured. Now, this is my last point. And here, I will end. Respect the will, the will of God. Uh, what does the verse say? For thou savest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. If you know the word of Christ, the word of God, you know the will of God. The Bible is the word of God. So when you read your Bible, you're actually receiving the Word of God. And the Word of God is clear in terms of what it, it instructs us to do. Uh, God's ways can easily be learned upon reading His Word. So when you know His Word, then you are to obey it. What's the meaning of the word obey? Observe, believe. Was letter if you remember last time? Huh? Obey, believe, encourage, and then yield. The last word. Okay. 
So, respect the will of God. Like in this case, in the next slide. Noah, I want you to build an ark. And then Noah said, sorry God, but the wife has me doing a cabinet. They like to do something else. Sometimes we are so busy, we would rather be doing something else other than what God has instructed us to do. God has taught us to forgive and then we are not even willing to forgive other people. God is telling us to be humble, but then we are so full of pride. God is teaching us to be more uh, giving, but then we are more concentrated on getting. Sometimes uh, God wants us to, uh, I mean, I mean, God wants us to, uh, to believe in Him and trust Him fully, but then we persist in our doubts. We have so much worries, we fear a lot of things, instead of holding on to the promises of God. Why? Because you don't respect the will of God for your life. And God's will will always be the best for us. His will is good, pleasing, and perfect in His sight if you obey it. And if you do God's will, it will always be a blessing to you. As I have said before, man's success is not based on what you have or how much money you, you own or how much property that you have, but it's more on your obedience to the will of God. Success is doing the will of God whether you are rich or poor. If you are intent on obeying His word, wow, that will be a blessing to you and indeed you are respecting His will. Okay, so what is the uh, summary of my sermon tonight? So how can we ensure accurate spirituality? Let's read it. Revere the words of Christ, refuse the words of Satan, reprove the ways of men, and respect the will of God. Everybody say, Amen. Let's all rise as we now close in prayer. Lord, we thank you for the message tonight. And truly, Lord, it has given us much encouragement for us to ensure <coughs> accurate spirituality on our part. We want to obey you so that our spiritual journeys would be better than before, especially when we always come to revere the words of Christ in our hearts. Help us, Lord, to fight our daily battles that we might be able to truly refuse the words of Satan. Help us to reprove even our own wicked ways. Ways that are not in line with your word. And help us, Lord, to also respect your will in, in, in any given time. I pray, God, that you continually instruct us with your word. And may your word always fill our hearts, our minds, that we may be careful to observe everything that you have commanded. Thank you, Father. We honor you tonight. Thank you for your, for these reminders. Thank you for your instructions and help us always to, and be, for us to be able to ensure accurate spirituality. Thank you, Father. We give you honor and praise in Jesus' name, everybody say. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we now, first, before we sing, uh, I would like to allow this time uh, for everyone, if you have any questions, okay, thank God I remember that. Uh, if you have any questions with regard to what we have just studied, can you still remember the points? What's the first one? Okay, the second one, Refuse the words of Satan. Third, reprove the ways of men. And fourth, respect the will of God. I want some questions. Uh, meron akong gusto sana magpatulong sa inyo. Isang mag-turn sa Google. Uh, about the uh, words of the flesh. There are some big words, heavy words there. Uh, what's... Ano yung naalala nyo mabigat na salita? Impetuosity. 
I have not looked into it. Uh, uh, somebody, maybe what? Uh, Google. Hindi, yung slide po na, hindi ko alam, hindi ibang words eh. Uh, uh, isang humanap sa Google. Ano po yan? Yan. Ano dyan yung mabigyan na salita? Uh, ano? Murder. Murder. <laughs> Vainglory. I think Vainglory is ascribing glory to yourself. Something like that. And in perjury is also associated to uh, to uh, panluloko. Ano yung isang panluloko? Uh, deceit. Uh, deceit. Kalumni, Pastor. Uh, yung kalumni. Ano yung kalumni? Forty-three, forty-three. Number forty-three. Implacability. Some, someone, please look into Google. Ayun na po. Ayun na. Sige. Ayun na. 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 Ayun In order to damage the reputation slander. Defamation. 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 Paninira. Impetuosity. Ano yun? Impetuosity. Asa na? Anong number? 48. 48 daw. Impetuosity. Impetuosity. Okay. Maybe you have some questions. You can... Raise it up. Acting more than quickly without thought or care. Okay. Think, Acting not thinking without thinking. thought or care. Alam pa kaya alam. Hasty. Hasty. Careless. Impulsive. Thoughtlessness. Impulsive. That is impetuosity. What's another word? Tapos yung calumny, no? Wala na. Okay na lang. Okay na lang. May mabigyan pa ba? Wala na. Wala na. Okay na ba? Dissipation. Dissipation tau. Dissipation. Parang pagkasi yos. Pagkalasing ba? I'm not really sure. Lakay mo. Magbabal. Pandering of money. Ano? Pandering of nagasasabi. Ah, pandering of money, energy, or resources. Okay, ada yang dissipated, ada dissipated. Pagi waltas, pagi gumun sa kasama. Okay, so that's the meaning of the word dissipation. Okay, any question now? Um, sa number thirty four. Ada yang? I mean, disagree your our parents. Panu kau kau parents mula nanti kau kau siapa? Then our parents wants us to. Parang makiningil sa ano, pag iinom nila ng alam. Kasi po, kunyari po, ikaw po Christian. If you're Christian, then your father is not Christian. Then he wants you to also drink a beer. Then don't, don't follow your parents. Paano po yun? Hindi subirin. We would rather obey God than men. Yun. Explain. Your reason why you are not going to uh, indulge in what he is instructing you to do. Okay. There must be some explanations on your part. You just don't do things, uh, 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 I mean, uh, without giving an explanation why you believe so, that you should have do this and do that. Okay. Okay, another question? Okay, man? Okay. Any question? No, we should. Bawang pala ko sa Diyo. Hindi ko question. Hindi ko kasi nabang ito. Isip kayo ng question habang nag-preach pala ako. Pero it's okay. Now you can raise your question. Say, may ako. Ano ba? Oh, reveal the words of Christ. May tanong doon? Magbigay galang uh, gawing pangunahin sa lita ni Kristo. Mas unahin mo siya, mas siya ang iyong susundin kesa sa salita ng tao. Refuse the words of Satan.
paano, paano, ano, paano mo ma-overcome ang isang besetting sin? How can you overcome a besetting sin in your life? And it has to be dealt with because you have to refuse the words of Satan. Uh, every time you ask for forgiveness, you always ask forgiveness for that specific sin. It's as if you are already in bondage to, to its practice. And you cannot uh, let go of that sin. And every time you go, uh, come before the Lord, you always ask for forgiveness to it. Anong gagawin natin doon? What can be done? Give me some answers. Lean, I think, pagkagano po yung nangyari, lean on the word of God more. I think, take okay. more time para ma-avoid yung po yung ganun. Okay. What else? You pray about it more and uh, make sure that you repent. Uh, as an act of your will, you will be determined enough not to do it again. Always remind yourself to not doing it. What else? Self-control must be exercised also. Ano pa? Make yourself busy. Ano? Make yourself busy with ignorance. Okay, make yourself busy with other things instead of uh, doing the same thing. Focus on another activity. And mean, I, I mean, you, you must have a change of your uh, activity or direction so that you may not go back to that sin. What else? Okay, if you have another question, Metalogs have improved the ways of men? Oh, yes, very close. Paano sa yung final question? Nagsin mo na. Diba, yung ways of men, susunod kahit yung sarap, susunod kahit yung sarap. Oh, ayun. Mga technology. Dahil na? May katulad ng technology. May technology tayo. Ah, ways of men. Ways of men. Hindi, 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 to the pattern of this world. The world has its uh, has, has a pattern. It is patterned after the ways of men, not the ways of God. Kasi lahat ng ano ngayon, ways of men, ang ng Islam. It depends on uh, what kind of activity you're, you're, you're talking about. If it, it doesn't border to anything sinful, like being like using what social media or uh, the modern technology that is available i see nothing wrong about it but if you use it for selfish ends for evil means then that's another that's another social issue. media pasok yung man doon eh but those lagi yung yeah is a concentration may ako pala pag ginagamit natin kahit isa ginagamit ko social media dati mo pa sa mga Maraming ipasok ng loob sa mga kastor. Yeah, of course. Uh, anything is possible with just one click. Uh, depends on what kind of focus you have. You have to focus yourselves more on things that are according to the ways of God, not the ways of men. Siyempre, uh, uh, of course, uh, Social media is loaded with evil things. So you must be selective in what you use or in what you watch or see. Huh? Well, I see the reality of what's going on in the world and even in other people's lives. Yeah. And uh, we can also see what needs to be prayed for uh, and what are the usual uh, situations of men? And for example, uh, do you watch Rafi Kolfo always? No, no, no. no? 
But uh, sometimes it, it cannot be avoided, right? Because there are always an available tablet. Uh, we have no. Uh, okay, and there, there are always problems of uh, different people. And, and somehow, a uh, watching tool for helps me uh, become a better counselor to other people. Uh, you know, when when I think of what the law is saying with regards to different situations and how the law can be applied. And of course, uh, things related to forgiveness, reconciliation, you know, and, uh, and especially when you assess the, uh, the fight, when you assess the, the problem between these people and uh, what advice can you possibly give. So it depends on how you use uh, the internet or the social media. But if you are always looking on things that you should be uh, avoiding instead, then that's a different one. Ibang usapan yan. Ikaw lang mo nakakalang kung masama ang gamit mo ng internet o hindi. I don't see many of you here even posting on Facebook words, word of God, words of God. Uh, if you can send some encouraging Bible verses or any uh, uh, exposition or any uh, explanation of our faith or a good picture that, uh, that shows Christ, well, that's, that's a blessing to everyone who would read. At least they are all reminded. Another question? Yeah. Uh, tanong ko, Pastor, itong internet, right? Uh, ginawa ito ng tao eh. Yes. So, yung gumawa nito na tao, ano sa palagay mo, sino ang nagbigay sa kanya ng talino? Is it the Lord or is it Satan? Satan. Gusto ko si Padre Eric sumakit. Is it the way of the Satan or is it the way of the Lord? The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Uh, ang lahat ng bagay sa mundo ay, ay sa Diyos. So, pati technology, it can be used for for good purposes. The, the technology, okay? Uh, it's just like the knife. A knife is good. To cut onions, potatoes, and your meats. But you don't use it to cut another person or stop them with it. Okay? So, obviously, it is made by men, of course. Uh, when ma men made these things, uh, sino ang pinakano dyan? Pinakagumpuha? Uh, well, sila Steve Jobs ba yan? Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Boom. Sino yung order? Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. Sila Massachusetts Institute. Okay, when they created those things, I believe uh, their purpose is to advance technology, to fasten communication. Internet. Okay. Basis talaga niya po is sana para sa America yung militar niya mapalakas ba? Ang alin? Malap mapalakas yung militar ng America. Militar. Pero later on, ayun nga nagamit sa mga YouTube at iba pang masurang internet. But uh, I believe more that uh, at the start it was intended for something good. Uh, but it's it's the mind of men being bound by sin and you know uh, as as slaves of unrighteousness. The tendency of man is to use these things for evil ends. You know Knowing the depravity of man, their extreme uh, wickedness and, uh, and utter sinfulness, uh, the tendency of man is always to do wrong. So no matter what you did, uh, uh, if what you did is something good, it can also be used for evil purposes. Because if you pervert it, but God has given us the mind, the intellect, and the knowledge. 
message ng German. What? Yung unang computer na ginawa. Okay. Ginawa na yung para ma-decrypt yung message ng German. I don't know much about that. <laughs> yun, yun yung unang purpose talaga ng computer. Okay. Oh, but, uh, but many people have benefited much from all these things. How about the nuclear bomb or atomic? Is it something good? More on destruction. Ibang usapan din. Ibang usapan Okay, we're talking about the internet. Okay. 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 So, anything to add? What can you say about this thing? Last time, I didn't know about this thing. Ito, fine. So let's go back to the creation. So na things on earth ang hindi nanggaling sa Diyos. Yes. And yung mga bad things, kasi na miss ano kasi natin na dahil bad, hindi galing sa Diyos. Pero tandaan natin sa Bible, maraming mga bad happenings and things na nangyari na bad but with purpose. Kasi ang purpose niyan, to reveal yung power ng Diyos. Kasi, alam nyo lang yan eh, sabi ko nga, lagi kong, ano, lagi kong joke na magpasalamat yung mga guwapot magaganda sa mga pangit. Bakit? Kasi, <laughs> kasi kung lahat guwapot pa, uh, magaganda, walang, ano, wala kang, ano, wala kang appreciation. Bakit nagkakaroon ka na appreciation sa mga magaganda mga, ano, because merong hindi kagandahan, hindi ka wapuan. The same goes to si Diyos. Without, without bad na things na nangyayari, wala kang recognition. Ano ang Diyos? Ano ang Diyos? Bakit nangyayari lahat ng mga to? Kasi kung lahat ng mga bagay, wala kang problema, wala kang war, wala kang everything, wala, wala, ano, wala, wala kang magre-recognize sa Diyos. Wala. So lahat ng purpose niya, kung babalikan mo yung creation, lahat siya, is because nanggaling yan lahat sa Diyos, wala kang hindi nangyayari sa because the Bible says everything that God created is good. Uh, if you read uh, chapter 1 of Genesis, uh, and God uh, saw it good, every work of His hands. So it's because of, of man's sinfulness, that's why man invented uh, many schemes of wickedness. That, that's what the Bible says. Because of their utter sinfulness, uh, man's tendency and propensity is to do evil. So whatever good you, you you do or invent or create, it can be used for evil purposes because of the innate nature of uh, of vileness of of the heart of man within. Yes. All the uh, creation is good. Is it uh, ina inalaw ba ng Diyos na may pumasok na masama doon? Yes. God allowed. God allowed. So, yes. alam niya yun? He knows. Of course. So, Nothing happens in this world by accident or without God knowing that it will happen. Okay. So, dito na tayo sa reality. So, dito tayo sa internet. So, if this internet was created for good. Mm -hmm. So, inalaw rin niya na umasok dito yung masama. Yes. Okay. And God cannot be surprised with any doings of man. Uh, he cannot be caught uh, unaware with anything because God knows everything. He is omniscient. He has knowledge over all things, even things that are about to happen uh, in his time, in eternity past, he already has thought of these things. And these evil acts, these evil things that were created are already uh, part of what is in God's mind, though he is not the one responsible in creating these things. But he allowed such to happen. Ganun talaga eh. So, another question. Okay na? Let's all rise. Let's lift up our offerings to the Lord. God, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to give. Thank you for having blessed us in so many ways. 
thank you for providing each need that we have and we have truly proven that you ne have never left us, you have never abandoned us as far as our needs are concerned. And now we lift up to you these offerings. We do this, Lord, because we want to honor you with the fruit of our substance. We want to, uh, to, to uh, let you know, Lord, that we are grateful because you have been the source of every blessing that we receive. In this, Lord, we are grateful and it's but right for us to further love you, to serve you with all of our hearts, to put you first in our lives. And it's also right that we should always ensure uh, spiritual accuracy as far as our faith is concerned. Lord, we give this because we love you. This we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's extend our hands upon this celebrants. And the Lord, Lord, we thank you for adding another year in the lives of Divine, Ian, and Brother Ray. You've been so good to them, Lord, and uh, we've seen your hand upon them. Your grace uh, filled much their lives, Lord, and your goodness will always remain. Lord, we thank you for the way you took care of these three people. I pray, God, that they will even grow spiritually and that they will mature in the faith. And I pray, Lord, that you give them strong physical bodies. Lord, whatever their heart's desires are, may all this be granted. Whatever Brother Wewe's uh, uh, plans are, Lord, uh, let it become successful, especially when it is done according to your will. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. We honor you, Lord, being the very center of our lives. Thank you for adding years. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings we receive. Everybody, lift up your hands and receive the pastoral benediction. Take good care to observe the commandments and instructions that the Lord has commanded you, that to love the Lord your God, to walk in all of His ways, and to keep His commandments, and to hold fast to Him, and to serve Him with all of your heart and with all of your soul. May the love of God the Father, the grace of Jesus Christ, and the fellowship, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all, both now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, everybody shout. Amen. Amen.